Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a set of Corsa at a familiar pit stop that you guys have probably seen here on the channel many times before. VDC Orlando. We are here going to take on the banks of Orlando with FD being there this weekend. Figured why not come back and see if I can still drift Orlando, which used to be one of my favorite tracks. So they decided to bring back out the old E92 test car that I was running my practice car so this thing is loud and proud so we're gonna go full send make sure you guys follow me on all social media all the description box below let's get to it so we're gonna see if we've lost anything or if we've skipped any beats here on BD2 Orlando done a lot of driving here in a set of Corsa with the old crew and everything like that so definitely interesting to be back i haven't been probably on this track in good over a year so we're gonna see if we have not skipped a beat here on orlando we got the e92 practice car and we're gonna go full send with the moza r21 and our rsv2 wheel there's a handbrake and everything. So I believe this car's set to go to fifth gear. So we're going to start in second, roll out. So let's see what we can do. And right back up in that wall, kind of where we left off last time we were running this track. Bring it down on the inside clip. Manage the bump. Quick e brake grab there. We may have floated off that. We've got a little bit up on the bank in this session but overall I feel like we have not lost our touch here on Orlando so we're gonna give it another run we'll take a look at the replay angles and then see about running it in different camera views and stuff see where we are in these first two runs kind of digress both of these and see I feel like we can still drift uh, Orlando it's definitely a very fun track excited for this weekend if you guys are too uh, like this video I'd appreciate think who you guys are gonna think who's gonna win this weekend again oh I feel like it's in the wall we are probably really in that wall put that off that was very aggressive off that oh that bump got me <laughs> man that probably was a really good run on that wall so let's take a look at those two runs because I feel like that was a great wall run, but that bump got me. Curse of Orlando bump. So let's see where we are in the first run. Did we initiate soon enough? I don't know if we did. Oh yeah, we did. That's a two. Up nice in that wall. Kind of uh, nice and tight up there. Came off really good on that clip. Managed to pump that car really. Yeah, we did shoot wide there. We didn't go as wide through that inner bank as I thought. And we were pretty much able to keep that crease for that second part. So let's see the second run. I feel like this one we were dug into the wall. Oh, yeah. We were definitely uh, dug in the wall on that one. Came off way too much angle and snapped and the bump. Yep, the bumps got me there. Unfortunately, those bumps can be very treacherous if you're uh, not paying attention to where you are. So now this car's even getting even louder for you guys. Try a little third person action. Yeah, pretty much in that wall. Off the bank. Whoa! A glitch on my monitor. Don't know what that was. But we're good. Burying ourselves in that crease. <laughs> this car is so much fun. So, I feel like we definitely can uh, run this track quite easily. Ooh, my tires are freaking smoked after three runs. Let's go get this fresh set of tires. We're gonna fresh that. I don't know why my monitor decided it wanted to freak out on me for a second, but it did. I was running it in the roof cam where all the uh, competitive guys run it. 
Well, not all. Majority of the competitive guys run root camp. R21 through its paces. Alright, let's do this. Ah. I drove better in first, which is kind of normal for me. Yep, definitely drove better at first. So we're going to give one more full run. We're going to change cars. It would not be a true FD Orlando video. We did not bring out an actual FD car. We brought up Jeff Jones' car from the Link ECU car pack. And we're going to go full set and see if we can't get his car around OSW. Comfortably. Oh. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> I'm definitely able to drive my cars, obviously, but this is not my car. But I do love Jeff Jones' cars, so we'll send OSW and Jeff Jones. Nobody saw that, right? Oh, try this again, restart. Slow this is cones. Oh, little wall tap. Can't really see anything coming off the bank. That turn this was terrible. That was a pretty uh, not so great run. So we're going to give it one more go before we end this episode off. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll try the description box below. I appreciate you guys coming back. Little FD vibe today with FD. Like I said, Orlando coming this weekend. Super excited. Let me know who you guys think is going to win down in the comment section down below. Alt happening again. Gotta stay in the wall though. Cannot really see what's coming off the bank. Yep. Definitely not the smoothest of runs at all. Definitely way inside. We'll definitely take a look at the outside view of these runs just for sake of that. But these were definitely not the best runs at all. So used to my car is not this car, but. A very slow roll entry and the, oh 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 man uh kind of breaking jones's wing i totally forgot these cards do have damage so we kind of uh bent in jones's rear bumper sorry man do apologize for that that crease part was pretty good on that run yeah that <laughs> that wing is so messed up so make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little back. Can I drift at OSW? Again, still. Let me know what you guys think. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.